guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting really to episode 17 and 18 of Blue Reflection Rain. So let's go ahead and get started with episode 17 and 3, 2, 1, go. Kind of what I'm hoping for today's episode still, I, you know, that backstory. I think we're getting that today. I'm not sure. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Finally, yes. That and then still an episode on the other girls just like doing whatever the fuck they're doing, you know. One thing I'm also hoping for that when this series does end, specifically for Nina, she gets a happy ending because, I mean, once again, she's, like, literally the most tragic character of this show besides, um, uh, it was Roka and, uh, what's-her-face, the couple from last week who are now bad guys. I mean, their story, that that is just sad, and that hurt last week, but... Nina is just still freaking sad like I'm sorry like I, I literally still get feels and want to cry over that because it's like damn like so many tragic things happen to her and you just feel so bad for her so praying that by the end of this she gets a good ending that's all I want for her. Look how happy they were, though. Like, I know this is the past episode, but I feel like she's going to run into Ruka. Possibly. I'm not really sure about that, though. Just happy to be with you. But seriously, once again, look how happy they were. And the fact is that, you know, where we are now in this story for them, so sad. Guys, but your mom never came home. Mm 
But it's now September and she still hasn't come back. Four years! Gee, ooh. But Mio, you have to be realistic about this for not only yourself, but for Hiyori as well. And so she kept that secret for her. she had to get a job yeah but no the real reason she needs a job is because of the fact is you don't have enough money to pay for the house really the apartment and everything else so you need extra money But still, she never came back. Your reason of living. Not only your sister. That's got to be the whole reason of why she's trying to go back in time and make a different world so that Hiori is happy to be with her mom, to be with Mio, but still in a way she's still sacrificing herself though. Plus, she's got to eventually meet Momo soon as well. Aww. 
And we all know that because you go there now. No, baby. Don't cry. It'll be okay. Mama? Momo! I feel like those other two girls are going to show up. Not Nina and um, Uta. The um, the two girls that Hiori and Ruka talk to. So where's Momo? Yeah, baby! Which is for Hiyori to be happy. See, I love the fact that we get to see this episode from two different POVs. Earlier in the series, we got to see it all through Momo's. And now we're seeing the second half, which is Mio's. It gives you a lot more context in the story and then a lot of unanswered questions that you had. 
Even though, yes, I still got some questions. Because, of course. Uta? What the heck? And of course she had to fail. That's good. <laughs> you don't even live here anymore. It almost seems like in a way... Neo is taking on every feeling from every girl she's healing. So not only she has her own personal feelings about the situation that she is in, it's everything else that she's been through and healed every other girl. So of course, yes, it's too much for her. Uta. Possibly I am. Yeah. And so we know she gets the answer that they can't. Damn, she is buying a lot. And there's Nina. Because by the time Momo and Neo come back together again, she finds out the truth. But that's life, babe.
哦。That right there is when she knew she couldn't do anything anymore. Everything that she fought for was a lie. No, it all makes sense. Mm-hmm. <sighs> That's fucked up. That's why now Mio wants to try to still make the world a better place for Yori because after everything and to see your own sister be depressed and think that thinking that it would never happen to someone in your family but it does and you try to save the one person who you're wanting this wish for and you realize you eat no matter what you do you can't save them. It, it, it's fucked up. It, it's very fucked up. To the fact is that, you know, he already was thinking that Mio was abandoning her and such. Like, I, and I get that so freaking much. I, like, as someone who has not dealt with that, but who has had friends who has dealt with abandonment issues, or I can say, like, okay, this is just me and my dog. How I went on a vacation, a little mini vacay for a couple of days, and my poor dog, because he is so, like, attached at the hip with me, because I'm the one who takes care of him and such, um, I had him stay at my aunt's house for a couple of days, uh, but my mom was also on vacation with me, and this poor dog felt like he got abandoned again, because the last time he was with his older, um, his other um, family the last time was the day before I got him. So, of course, he felt very abandoned by his previous family. And he thought that he was given away again. And so those, like, two, three days that I was gone for him was, was the most, like, horrifying things for me and and I was I was very sad like the last day I, w I got up as early as I could to hurry up and pack the car up so that we could just go and get my dog because um from what my aunt had told me he wouldn't eat he was drinking water and stuff but he wasn't forcing himself to eat 
and he just felt like he was abandoned and it broke my heart like I hated that I hated it so much so just to have someone think that you know you're the reason or this is the reason why like they were trying to do something hey happy for themselves or for you and to better themselves or better yourself and such and they think that you're the reason of this pain so I feel bad extremely for Hiori and I think this is really truly or it has fucked her up to the point now that she thinks that she's the reason that she killed her sister I don't think it's that I think that's the reason why her sister is going down this route of trying to give this better life for her but I feel like Neo is doing it in the wrong way if there is a way to break that like give it to me I need it but at the same time I really like the fact that we finally got more connection or context clues from both this episode and the episode that focused on Mio's and Momo's situation when it was Momo's POV because at that time when the first when I watched the first episode I had no clue what the hell was going on now I kind of have a little bit better you know explanation but still at the same time it is a little more confusing because it's about context clues and still trying to figure it out on your own plus when you have to also do research and stuff um so hopefully like I said there's possibly still something but I'm, I'm still begging to the price that we get a happy ending the fact is that you know that she saved Uta once and I was like of course come on you, she's gonna go back her to the same ways and look by the end of the episode she was still going back her same ways and then um Shino was there as well and she you know was against being a reflector I still kind of wish that we kind of got POVs of them for this episode or several episodes later but hopefully we'll see whatever the hell is going to go on I am sorry about that noise you're going to be hearing it in the next episode but go ahead and pause the video and I will see you guys in one second for episode 18 okay episode 18 and three two one go once again sorry about the noise they would choose today to freaking, you know, blow the leaves off and everything. They could have did this any other day of the week. Hell, they could have did this yesterday, but no. showed her the truth she needed to see it I mean because okay here's my thing if Nina didn't show her that situation he already would have been you know out of the loop she wouldn't have known she needed to see that to understand the reasons why yes now it, it makes her more upset about it but she needed to know you need to know that sometimes not every day is sunshine and rainbows and that you know all these horrible things and sad things happened and sometimes you can't really do anything about it.
Yeah, pretty much it is your fault. Yeah, I'm still hurt by that too, babe, because just... I bet she's empty though. Of course she does, but now that she knows the truth, she a little more depressed than, <laughs> depressed than she was.
Mm -hmm. You needed to know this so that you can be strong. I mean, hey, after crying that much, yeah, you might sleep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's the only way that she's going to get through this. Baby, you gotta say something else. Mm hmm. Can't do it, huh?
she's got to figure this out on her own. Yeah. You know, running away from your problems, it's not going to solve anything, honey. That sound is basically making you not transform all those feelings.
I know. Damn it. But see, ain't this funny? I mean, in a way, this is what Mio wants. It feels like it is exactly what Mio wants. Because there it is. Wood and right there, cemetery gate. Okay, this. Oh God, I feel bad for Huey. I really do. Like, honey, one, you know, the situation of the previous episode and blaming herself and still continuously blaming herself to the point where like Ruka comes in to console her, but it's not enough because of the fact that she still feels bad. And she's over here, like, protecting her sister. She's she's basically in the same situation Mio was in the previous episode, where it's like everything she's done now is for nothing. And she's back at square one, and she doesn't know what's right or what's the wrong thing to do because she's at a crossroads, and she's scared. And she has too many emotions and feelings inside of her that she feels like she's going to blow up. And technically, in a way, she already has. So, what the fuck going to happen? We almost done with this show. And the fact that Nina can't transform. And Ruka's now the only magical girl who can do something, but Ruka's now hurt. That's it. The, what what else can you do? I mean, can Lime and What's Her Face come in and save something and try to do something? Probably not because they're currently stuck in the common. So <sighs> I 
Okay. I like all right. Once again, I I don't know what else to say about this. I really don't. I mean, this episode was very. These last two, very very on the high marks and what I needed for like the longest time for it. But at the same time, like it just. It still makes you wonder with the majority of the episodes that we have left, because we are almost done with this show, um, how is this going to end? Like, now that Ruka is hurt, can she fight? Is Nina going to fight? Is what's her face? I can't remember her name. Um, the one who's on the right hand side of Ruka. Is she going to do something? Like, what the heck is about to happen now? Because we're the, the, the bad guys are winning. The bad guys are winning. And so the good guys like, hmm. What, what what else can y'all do? Like, straight up. Let's be a little honest right now. What else can they do? Like, right now, we, we are, you know, we, we on the, fi- mm, God, how can I say this? We are on, like, the final quarter of this magical girl fight. <laughs> and the bad guys are overtaking y'all. What else can y'all do right now? Like, mmm. Big mmm. But, yeah. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction features episode 17. And 18 of Blue Reflection, right? If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for Patreons. And next Monday for everybody else for Episodes 19 and 20. Bye, guys.